Hello everyone, this is Ryan Zakos with Zakos Realty out of Sarasota, Florida. In today's video, I'm gonna to talk to you about something that we hear often or get asked a lot, and that is, what can I buy in your area for under 500,000? So I'm gonna do a quick demonstration of the difference of homes by locations, including Lakewood Ranch, Sarasota, Venice, all the popular areas that people are looking. And you'll be able to see in this video um, where you can find new construction versus where can you um, have the best location and what you're sacrificing for that. This is a, a behind the scenes look at MLS, so you can kind of um, get acquainted to it. I'll go to the criteria so you can see how I set this criteria. I set it from 450 to 500 so that way it captures anything that's um, 500 or less. I wanted to weed out anything that was under 450 because um, the quality of home might fall off there. So I included Manatee, Sarasota County. Manatee encompasses Lakewood Ranch, Sarasota, obviously Sarasota, Venice, and a little further south. From the purpose of this video, I want to show you only single family homes. So going back to the map, what you can see here is based on the map, you can see that we're looking at State Road 64 on the north side. So that's the north end cutoff of Lakewood Ranch. So Lakewood Ranch is gonna encompass pretty much anything east of I-75 all the way up to out here. This is the end of uh, university down here. So this uh, this ends with a concession, which is a, a private golf club, and then goes it goes north. It kind of cuts back here. And then this is the, the Star Farms. So you'll see, for new construction, you're gonna to wanna to, like northeast corner or quadrant of Lakewood Ranch is the most uh, newly developed or furthest east out here in Lakewood Ranch. It's gonna be the most newly developed. As you can see, there's nothing available under 500. New construction wise here in the eastern part of Lakewood Ranch, this is gonna be all the higher end, uh, more luxury style homes. They're all gonna be million plus for the most part. You might be able to find some stuff, um, eight, 900, depending on the community and the builder. In Lakewood Ranch here, this is going to be a home for $4.99 listed in Riverwalk. Home was built uh, most likely in the late 90s as it was one of the first communities developed and built. This is actually built in uh, 2000. Um, one of the first communities developed and built in Lakewood Ranch. The first community, um, Summerfield, was built in the mid-90s and then it kind of worked worked out from there. So that's Riverwalk. It's a 3-2, 1,700 square feet, 1,770. So you can see the homes most likely are going to be a little bit smaller in nature. They're probably going to be around 2,000 square feet, a little bit less in Lakewood Ranch. You do have some new construction options, but you're going to be sacrificing on the location. Here's one in Greenbrook at 489. It's going to be built in the early 2000s, about 1,700 square feet again, 3-2. And then at this price point, it most likely will not have a pool, unfortunately. So just so you can kind of get a feel for what you're looking at or what the home is like and looks like. And as you can see, it hasn't been updated since it being built, but it's still, you know, is in good condition. There's some like luxury vinyl floors, no pool, like I said, but it does back up to a little pond. Great area as well, right off of there, Lorraine and State Road 70. So it's a good location. Downtown Lakewood Ranch is right here. Lakewood Ranch has a lot to offer in of itself. That's why it's such a popular popular destination and you're also the oldest home you're going to get Lakewood Ranch is like I said mid 90s so that's why another people uh, another reason why people flock to it so if you're looking for new construction you want to be in Lakewood Ranch this is kind of where you're going to fall there are a couple options especially if you're looking for a resale there are some options there it's just going to be smaller homes under 2,000 square feet most likely without a pool in Lakewood Ranch and going south if we want to focus on location now if we want to be closer to Sarasota closer to the beaches that's a question we often get hey can I be close to the beach or on the beach well no you can't be on the beach for 500,000 can you be close to the beach yes relatively you're talking only seven miles from you know I-75 to down downtown Sarasota. It's really not a, a far of a drive to get to whether it's Lido or Siesta or even Longboat or um, going north to Anna Maria. A lot of options there. As you get, you can see around Sarasota, there's going to be nothing west of the trail. So the trail is US 41, goes runs north and south. As you get north of Sarasota, you might have a couple options. There are two. This is becoming desirable. This this is like the Ringling area, Sapphire Shores Indian Beach. It's a beautiful area. Um, recently sold a million dollar house over there on, by the water. A couple, couple houses in from the water. So it is a, it's a beautiful area. And then there's some areas here. Here that are becoming more desirable because it is west of the trail it's close to the water people do like that now going south you'll see this is probably the most some of the most desirable areas in all of sarasota is here just south of downtown west of the trail easy access to lido easy access to downtown sarasota easy access to cs nothing available 500 you're going to be all million plus in this area and then if you go east of the trail this has been a very hot 
area. A lot of investors are targeting it. There's some urban infill. So you'll see some homes being swept um, up for 350, 400, 450, knocked down and rebuilt for 1.5 plus. You still can find some of those smaller homes. This area was developed anywhere between, you know, 30s, 40s, 50s. If I click on just any random house, you'll see this is a 1700 square foot, 32, built in 1953. Uh, most likely won't have a pool. You might find some that do have a pool, five, five hundreds that are, um, you know, might be in older homes, smaller homes. If you're looking for location specifically, wonderful area. Love this area. This is Arlington Park, Southgate. Um, if you go a little bit more east, Sarasota Springs, they're all going to be, obviously, the older homes are developed closer to downtown Sarasota, and then Sarasota was developed out from there. So Sarasota Springs would be, you know, 70s and 80s it was developed. So you'll get a little bit newer, but you're still going to have the 8-foot ceilings, most likely, you know, some of the cast iron plumbing still, and it's going to be a little outdated, most likely. But you are in a good location, especially if you are focusing here in this uh, Payne Park. Arlington Park, Southgate area. Working your way south, it's gonna be a, a lot of the same. Golfgate, same, developed in the mid-century, mid-1900s. And what I love about Golfgate is the easy access to the South Bridge of Siesta. There actually is one home here west of the trail, and it is uh, 1,100 square feet, and it's only a couple houses in, it looks like, from the bay. So you could actually technically ride your bike over the bridge, over the Stickney Point Bridge here, South Bridge of Siesta to uh, Crescent Beach, Turtle Beach, um, or even down to the public beach here of Siesta Key. So love this golf gate area because it does give you really good access to the beaches. And then Golfgate has its own little like uh, downtown area as well, which is awesome. Sarasota Brewery, some great restaurants, coffee shops, all that kind of stuff down there. So it's a great little spot. Another place you will see some options under 500 probably is in Vamo. And then... Nothing west of the trail as we talked about until we get, you know, way down here past Venice Island. This is Venice Island. There'll be nothing single family home wise around 500. Everything's gonna be like 650 plus now on Venice Island. Love Venice Island, another little downtown strip, live music, shops, restaurants, that kind of stuff. Easy walkability, golf cart, bike to the beach, no matter where you're at in the island. So definitely becoming a hot spot. One area that I do think, I, I mean, I really love, I've sold a bunch of homes is right here. It's east of I-75, but the way that Florida shaped, you're actually getting less miles to the beach, even though you are east of I-75. So this is Toscana Isles, it's gonna be Venetian Golf and River Club. These are gonna be, you know, newer homes, if not new homes, they're still building in there. And you can find some of these smaller homes, uh, 1,500 square feet, under 500,000. That, if you're looking for new construction, it's definitely an area that people are interested in targeting in because you 15 minutes max to Nokomis Beach. So you have great beach access close to downtown Venice, um, historic downtown Venice, and then you're probably only 25 minute drive to uh, downtown Sarasota. So gives easy access there. Then obviously you have Venice Gardens, which is not new construction by any means, but you are close to the beaches there. So Venice is becoming a, a hollow spot because you do get a little bit more bang for your buck than in Sarasota while being close to the beach. Beach, but you cannot beat, in my opinion, the downtown Sarasota, Lido, and Siesta Key beaches. So that's why Sarasota is so hot and continuing to grow and develop like crazy. I hope this gives you a little bit of insight into what you can get for half a million dollars here in the Sarasota area, whether you're looking in for new construction or just being as close to the beach as possible. I think you can find what you're looking for. It's just you might have to sacrifice either on the house or the location. You probably can't have both, but there are some options. If you have any questions at all, I hope to be a resource for you, and I look forward to meeting you soon. Thanks.